I'm no expert on geopolitics. All I know is that what is going on between Israel and Palestine is incredibly sad and destructive and causes a lot of misery. However, bringing the conflict to Britain's streets is unacceptable. All this recent footage here is shocking. It is not our conflict and has no place on these shores. And anyone coming to this country should be leaving it like any foreign conflict at the border. We should think very carefully about importing those who bring the troubles of their homelands here and have loyalties elsewhere. Import the world and you import the world's problems, as the saying goes. This is on the streets of Britain recently. Yes, people are free to peacefully protest, but they are all waving the flag of Palestine. Yet how many of them would ever wave the flag of England or Britain? More importantly, how many of them actively hate our flag? Some have been attacking Jewish people and property. There is no place for that here. And it's funny how those who are quick to label everyone and everything far right fail to mention all the Muslim hatred and violence towards the Jewish community over here anytime anything happens in Palestine. We as a nation shouldn't be importing anyone who does not adhere to the laws of this land and doesn't have loyalties to Britain first and foremost. Then we have this lot, the far left, the communists and socialists, many of whom occupy universities. Listen to this guy. You committed it in Hebron, oh, absolute 1929. Nonsense. It's the Germans, the Europeans, the whites. Just like the 700. This, they've got a right to exist in their own land. They were there, Eight, five percent Jews in Palestine. Most of the Palestinians were the original Israeli. Again, they'd never be seen dead waving our flag or defending our right as a nation to exist. They even want our national anthem done away with. But here they are, happily waving Palestine flags. The same people who hear everything about this country and want to see it come crumbling down. So, it is fine to wave some flags, including foreign flags, but it's wasteless to wave our own flag. And in many places, they have taken them down and replaced them with woke flags. The fact is, this is England, not Israel or Palestine. No doubt, as mass immigration increases and the woke movement withers away national pride, this kind of thing will become more and more common as our country becomes less and less British.